Welcome to another developer update. My name is Jeff. I'm one of the developers on the Overwatch team. This update is going to be very cool because it is a topic a lot of you have been asking about for months, and we're really excited to address what's going on. So coming to the PTR very soon are going to be the much-awaited Symmetra changes. So I want to spend a little bit of time and kind of go through the changes and why we made them. So obviously the problem we were seeing with Symmetra before, and, and we've talked about this a little bit before, was that she was a very effective character, but she was viewed as overly situational. And what I mean by that is players enjoyed playing her, but usually they would play her in a situation where maybe they were on defense on the first point. For example, in King's Row, they'd, they'd play her on the first point. She seems super useful when you get the teleporter up, keep it protected, and get your team back to the fight really quickly. But what we found is if a team failed on that first point, a lot of players would either switch off of Symmetra or stay on Symmetra and not be as effective because, in essence, her entire ultimate ability was not useful on later points, even though sometimes players would put up that teleporter on the final point of like a Temple of Anubis or even a King's Row, it really wasn't helping as much as it helped earlier in the match. So that is one of the things that we wanted to address. And we also want to address some quality of life issues. Um, a lot of times we got feedback about the initial s setup with Symmetra and how that felt as a Symmetra player, that sort of panicked rush that you would make to put shields on everybody and then run to the front line and get your turrets going to try to build ultimate as fast as you could, but then you were waiting on cooldowns a lot, and it was kind of frustrating. Um, and there was a weird time efficiency element to it that wasn't ultimately fun, but just more stress-inducing and put a lot of pressure on you. So to get into some of the changes we're making with Symmetra, let's start with her ultimate, because that's probably the most exciting. So Symmetra is going to be the first character in Overwatch to actually have a choice of ultimates. She will have two ultimates available to her at all times in the match. So what will happen is she'll start with no ultimate um, in, in terms of her ult meter will be at zero, just like other heroes doing damage and over time the ult meter will increase. When your ult is available to you, your, your ultimate will light up and at first you will see the teleporter there. So just like Symmetra played previous to this, you can put the teleporter down. It works just the same as it did before. You have six charges. Your teammates can come through. But what, what is very exciting is you can also toggle by pressing your ultimate ability again to a shield generator. So the shield generator is a built object just like the teleporter, but it puts a very substantial shield, more than her old shields, on all of her teammates um, in a very big radius, and it ignores line of sight. So that means Symmetra can actually hide the shield generator somewhere. It's applying shields to everybody, and the other team really needs to go find that before they can uh, take out that shield generator, or take out those shields. Um, so she now has two buildable objects for her ultimate a choice of a teleporter or a choice of a shield generator. The other thing we did was look at her teleporter and we gave it more health and we made some of the health uh, shield uh, health instead, which means that it regenerates. So a problem before was as a Symmetra, you'd defend either uh, your teleporter or in, in the new scenario, you'll also defend your, your shield generator and it would take some damage and you, there was no, no recourse. You couldn't undo that at all. Um, so even though we always intended Symmetra to sort of build a nest and protect what she had built, it wasn't realistic because sometimes it would just get taken out even if you had successfully taken out the person who was attacking it. So it has more health now and more of that health is in shield so it will regenerate over time, meaning the enemy team has to make a more concerted effort to go after your ultimate that you've built. So you might be asking, you know, with the shield generator, what happened to the shields? So we felt that the shields were never a really highly interactive, fun sort of element to playing Symmetra. It, at times it felt more like a chore or almost like a plate spinning, but not in a great way. So instead we've replaced it with a completely new ability. Uh, it's called Photon Barrier. And what this is, is very similar to maybe Reinhardt's shield or Winston's projected barrier that he creates. 
it's it's a barrier that that Symmetra has, but what's cool about hers is that it's actually projected on a track of movement. So it's it's sort of elliptical in shape, and she sends it out, and it just moves along a trajectory. Um, so it's really effective, like if you're sort of hanging behind your team, and they don't have somebody like a Reinhardt, maybe they have a, a Roadhog and a Zaryez or tanks up front, you can send this projected barrier out in front of you and it sort of signals your whole team to come uh, with it and follow with it. But it's got way more uses than that. Symmetra can use it for her own devices as well, protecting her nests um, or using it to be very aggressive. So we think the photon barrier will be a really fun active addition to Symmetra's toolkit that puts more skill in playing the hero and then also just a lot more creativity in how you play her. So we think you'll enjoy that. Um, the other thing we've done is we made some minor tweaks to her, her turrets themselves, the little sentry turrets that she placed out. Previously, she could always have six out in the map, but previously you could only stock up to three, place those, and then you'd have to wait for the cooldown to regenerate. We've changed that maximum to six, so when the match starts, for example, or when setup starts, Symmetra can run out and instantly place six of her turrets in a location that she wants. Um, and then they're still on cooldown after that to, to come back, but at a, at a slightly different rate, it's now increased, it's 10 seconds where it was 12 seconds before. Um, what this means for Symmetra players is one, the initial setup in the map is much more like you want it to be. You can kind of pick your area, set up exactly how, how you want at the start of a match. The other area that, that really is a game changer for this is it allows Symmetra to sort of move her location with the flow of combat much easier. You know, you might be defending a choke early in the match and then decide that you want to drop back and quickly put a bunch of turrets up on a capture point or maybe around the payload. And now you have a lot more tools at your disposal to, to make that type of move really quickly. So we think that should be a lot of fun. We made some minor tweaks to her weapons. For the most part, her weapon works exactly the same as it did before. Um, both the primary and secondary fire are exactly the same as they were with a slight change to the primary fire. We've extended the distance of the beam at which it locks on. So Symmetra can actually make contact with targets slightly further out. It's not much more, you know, don't panic. She's not, you know, a long range beam sniper now or anything like that. She's still a very short range um, character with that primary fire. But just for quality of life, we gave it a little bit more distance. So that should feel better as well. So all of these changes are coming very soon to the PTR. So we want your feedback, we want you to play with it, and we'd really love to hear both from the Symmetra players who play a lot of Symmetra. We want to hear, you know, how does this feel to you? But we're also really curious to hear from the non-Symmetra players. You know, maybe you didn't play her before because she wasn't fun, or, you know, the skill cap wasn't where you wanted it to be, or, you know, some other quality of life reason you know, is Symmetra better for you as now as well? So we, we'd love to hear all your thoughts on Symmetra. We'll be taking a very close look um, at the statistics, seeing, you know, what's her win rate like? Are people switching off of her on the second point? Is she effective on attack now? Is she effective in control maps like Nepal, Ilios, Lijiang? Uh, we're really looking at Symmetra overall and holistically. We want her to be a, a less situational character and a character that sees a lot more use. So we hope you have fun with her. We've had her in internal testing for quite some time now, and she feels very powerful to us. So we'll see how she feels to you guys. Um, we always get a much better sense from you guys. We're a very small group who's testing internally, so we get a, a much better idea uh, from you guys. So that's the big update. There's a couple other things I wanted to make you aware of. Oasis, the, the new map that we mentioned at BlizzCon, which is a control map, again, like, you know, Lijiang, Nepal, Ilios. Oasis is coming to the PTR very soon, very shortly after Symmetra will get Oasis on there for testing. Our goal, again, is to put Oasis live to the service to everybody in 
early 2017, but we'd like to get as much testing, you know, at the end of 2016 as possible on the map. Um, we think it's a lot of fun. One thing in particular that we're keeping an eye on is that jump pad. We want to see all the creative uses you guys can come up with it. And if that's a mechanic that's really fun and we refine it along with you guys, uh, maybe that's something we do more of in uh, future iterations of either Overwatch maps or future Overwatch heroes. So keep an eye out for Oasis. And then one final small feature that I'll mention to you guys, and I'm not sure which iteration of the PTR it will hit on, but uh, keep an eye out for it. We've added a small social feature at the end of a match, when the match ends and you're looking at uh, some of the statistics and the end of round flow where you see, see the cards, the, the statistics, the play of the game, we've added a small button on the screen that just says stay with group or I wanna party up now. Um, and, and basically what we've added this for is those times where you've been really successful with the team, but you guys aren't friends, you're not on each other's friends list, but you're like, wow, we, we had a lot of great chemistry. It sure would be awesome if we could kind of keep this group together. And if you all click on that button, or even some of you click on that button, um, it will automatically form a party for you guys, and then you can keep playing together. So that's just one of the small social features. We're gonna keep making ones like that to really encourage people to group up, hang out, play more, You know, hopefully make friends. Uh, find those people with similar play styles to you that you enjoy playing with because we've, we think it really enhances the experience. That's all we have for today. We're super excited to see what you guys do with the new Symmetra and eventually how you guys play the new map, Oasis. As always, we're looking forward to your feedback. You guys really are the ones steering the direction of this game. We hope you enjoy and have a great time with it. We'll see you later.